Okay, I thought I'd take a video about the hesitation problem. So this RV again, like I said in the email, has two fuel pumps. One in the back, it's electric fuel pump, and one in the front, which is a uh, mechanical fuel pump. That's the mechanical fuel pump right there. That thing, it's held on by uh, held on by two bolts bolting onto the motor, and then you see the tubes, um, these these fuel tubes coming in, um, and uh, there's an arm that goes out from the fuel pump into the motor, and it rides on a cam and pumps the pumps these uh, diaphragms up and down that are inside the fuel pump, but I suspect that that rusty looking thing is bad, and I mean it works a little bit, but the diaphragms get worn out, so it does not have enough pressure to pull the fuel all the way from the back, and what was happening is the back fuel pump uh, isn't coming on, it wasn't coming on, it is now. Um, but even so, it's the, uh, the back fuel pump pumps it to here, and then this this pump has to pump it up to the top of the motor, and it's getting weaker and weaker. But it, it seems to work. I would, if I were you, I'd get another one of these pumps. I just took it for a test drive, and it works, and it doesn't hesitate near as much as it did. So maybe it's fine. But I would get another fuel pump and have that on on demand on hand, and make sure you have the tools to replace this thing because it could go out and it won't start. So another thing, if it doesn't start, this is the oil um, pressure switch. This is what I replaced. And what this does is um, it, 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 if you get, um, anyways, it, it is part of the circuit for turning on the electric fuel pump. The reason it's in the circuit is because uh, instead of just being on all the time, is because if you get in a crash, you want it to, uh, and then the engine stops, then this will turn the fuel pump off, right? So all it is is a single throw type switch inside here, and w when the oil pressure in the engine increases, it just closes this to ground. So the problem is because your mechanical fuel pump is so weak. Um, that uh, when it's been sitting for a while, it's not going to start because it won't, this mechanical pump won't pump up to the to the uh, um, carburetor. So, and this the fuel electric fuel pump won't be on because um, there isn't pressure enough in the motor to turn this thing on. This thing only comes on after the motor is started. So one thing you can do is you take um, you can take a clip before if if it won't start and you haven't started for a while and. Um, you can take a clip, this is just a jumper wire, and then um, just clip it between these two leads right here, right? Like so, right? See, I just clipped it between those two. And all that is is just shorting it to ground. It's, if you turn the key, if the key was on the on position now, you'd hear that back fuel pump come on, that electric fuel pump come on. Um, and so that'll get it started for sure if it won't start without it. I think once you know once, once fuel is in the line and in the carburetor and it's in the fuel float bowl, it should start fine. And then once the engine starts up, the back fuel pump will turn on and and you know, all be what fine. But if if you find it's not starting, that's I would do that. I would uh, jumper that. You'll hear the back fuel pump come on. Give it a second uh, with the key in the on position where you hear that back electric fuel pump on, and it'll be pumping fuel up to the carburetor, and it'll, and it'll start right up. So, anyways, that's the story. So, to refresh, get another mechanical fuel pump there, and have it on hand to replace it. It's actually pretty easy to replace. Just do these, uh, undo these fuel lines. There's two bolts right up there. Um, that you unscrew, get the new gasket that comes with the fuel pump, and uh, pull that out and replace it. That's it.